how impactful timing is um, to various things. So let me just give you an example. If I'm going to plant something, I need to not do that in the winter time, right? I need to know that the times and the seasons that were that are ongoing are actually going to impact uh, my projects, right? And so um, if I don't understand that, I'm gonna be disappointed and angry or frustrated at the very least, right? When time after time, I'm trying to get that project going. I'm trying to get that seed planted, right? But it's not making a difference because it's not the right time for that thing to come to fruition. So God said, I need to do blah, blah, blah. And then you immediately go and do it. That's like God saying to you, you should have, you know, you should go plant whatever type of seed, right? And you could go do that. But if it's the middle of winter, you can't be blaming God because it doesn't come up, because the seed doesn't come up. Instead of asking how much or where or when, right? So there's no questions going on in this conversation. It's like, you just go and do it. Instead of finding out, should I start this in a greenhouse? Should I put it in a little pot inside? Is it a now word? Is it just one stalk of corn that I should get or is it an entire field? Is that right now or is that in the summertime or the springtime, you know? And so the, my point here being the word can be correct, but the season is not there. And in fact, in the parable of the sower, we know that that, that the seed is, is the word of God, meaning it could never return void. It has all of the power in it already. And yet instead, what happens is instead of asking questions, instead of partnering deeper, instead of looking at the soil that we're putting that word into, right, we just start doing it right away. Well, look, it didn't come up, even though it fell on rocky soil or fell on thorny soil. Instead of actually looking at that, what we do is say, well, I did, I did what the word said and it didn't happen. Nothing happened. That's impossible. It's impossible for that to happen because we already know the word never returns void. So my point in uh, sharing that with you is to get you to start thinking about ways in which maybe you've pushed past the, it, here's another thing that people will also do. Let's say that the word, you know, doesn't come up. So whatever seed you just planted and you're trying to tend to it doesn't come up it doesn't have any impact what people might try to do is keep doing it doing it doing it doing it 10 times still the wrong season still the middle of winter and then be angry that they've tried so often tried so hard and nothing nothing happened you know it's like if you would have not done anything waited a few months right for the weather to be correct then you could have gotten a different uh result so it's really important that you understand the time and the season that all of this stuff is happening in it doesn't necessarily depend on how much effort or muscle that you put in and in fact there's a different scripture that says it's not by power and it's not by might but by my spirit meaning you have to be that in tune Meaning when you are that in tune with what the spirit is saying, you will have the exact blueprint to make that seed come up with a harvest.